Hello Islanders, Dan and Kaylee here from Lazy Bunch and we're doing another Animal Crossing video this week but this time we're going to be talking about the July update that just dropped a couple of days ago. And we're going to be swimming! Yay! So make sure you leave a like, comment, or subscribe. We have a Discord server as well so check that out in the description below. And let's get to it. Let's go ahead and start swimming. So uh, this is my character's actual first day of swimming and all that. And so we wanted to show you some of the things that you need to do in order to prepare and to actually go ahead and start swimming. So as far as I have gathered that you can't, um, oh look, Sherb. Oh, hey, Sherb. Uh, you can't get Pascal to show up if your gate is open or you're swimming with another player. I'm not sure if that applies if you're swimming with a player on your island. Um, but that's just what I had encountered trying to play earlier. Yes, yes. Pascal is a character that is loved from other from the other Animal Crossing games. I think he first appeared in Wild World, and he's been in every one of them since, I think. I haven't played uh, New Leaf, so I'm not entirely sure if he's in that one or not, but he's been in most of the Animal Crossing games, and for him to not appear in this one was kind of like... You know, upsetting some fans, and obviously he had an appearance in this in some way, shape, or form. Did you um, get a snorkel mask? Oh, I did. Yes, I did. So when the when you do update your uh, Animal Crossing game, you will get a snorkel mask from Nintendo in your mailbox. I already did. Is it in your pocket? Let me double check. I think it might be in my pocket. Come on. Uh, it is not in my pocket. No, but in order to go diving, you will need a wetsuit or I guess a snorkel suit. And in this case, I went to go buy one at uh, the Nook's Cranny and this one actually matches my hat perfectly. <laughs> Look at that. So you've got the little anchor mm -hmm. and everything on there. Is so, somebody in the plaza at all? Let's see. Who do we got today? Uh, no, no one. All right. So let's go ahead and go swimming. So that's eight. eight you want to empty your pockets of that stuff though. Oh yes, that's true. I don't really need any of this stuff right now, so let me go ahead and just drop this in front of my house. You can't drop trees. Oh shoot. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead. I'll just go ahead and plant them somewhere. So let's go ahead and actually go to a better spot on my island. I was gonna go over here to our uh, western beach, but let's go overhead to the eastern side. Oh, now that well, our friends have moved. Let's go ahead and put these down right here. Not that close to the tree, please. To the tree? I mean rock. What about up here? Okay, that's literally the same space. <laughs> What's wrong with that spot right there? I just don't want it to be that close to the rock. Well, we can move it a little bit later. What was the point of picking them up and moving them if you didn't have a place to plant them? Well, I was planning on moving them later on. I didn't think I needed to empty my pockets right now. But let's just... I think we have a good amount of space in my pockets now. There we go. And I'll just come ahead and pick these up a little bit later. All right, so for you the purposes of this. Yeah, you could go in wherever, but I like to do that little front flip thing. There you go. Well, it wasn't the front flip, but once if you have you your run, I through, think. Yes, once you actually, well, we can try that a little bit later. But once you're in the water, you are basically free to go anywhere around your island. Uh, up until this point right here where you see this fence, that's basically the parameter of how far you could go. And then here we go, we got our first little, whoop, wrong button. We got our first l catch of the day. Let's see, what did we get? A sea star. Ooh, yes, look at that, it's Patrick. <laughs> so I kind of like this because the all of the sea creatures are um, more are worth more bells than a sea bass, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> that is true to think about, yeah. So all of the sea creatures range in price from 500 bells to 15,000 bells. So most of them seem to range about 1,500 bells and below, but there's oh. still some that are worth a little more. You also find some tricky that are running away from you. That one wasn't too bad, but. I, of course, Definitely messed going. up and went the wrong direction, starting off with. There we go. What'd Ooh, we... don't think we've got that yet. Ooh, whoa, this is a sweet shrimp. Ooh. Shrimp-tastic. I think that might have been one of the ones that um, you can only catch in the morning. Yeah. So On there... our southern hemisphere island here. So there are different times, just like with the regular fish, there are different times um, and months and seasons that these creatures will appear. 
Um, Depending on what hemisphere your island is in. Of course, naturally. And there are some shadows that are bigger than others. I think there are, what, like three different sizes? There's, there's a small, a medium, and a large sized shadow underwater. Is that correct? Uh, I, I think. Yeah, I think so too. And some of them move and some of them don't. And some of them run and some of them don't. Yes, the ones that move really fast. Um, I spent about 10 minutes chasing a snow crab yesterday. That was not fun. And uh, I actually had left behind a few extra things because I had been playing a lot. And I didn't well, want... That's a big one. I didn't want to have to... Yeah, the sea anemone is stupid. <laughs> the sea anemone is the sea bass of the sea creatures. I thought the seaweed was going to be the sea bass of the, the sea. Well, no. The sea anemone is. Uh, but anyways, I played a little bit. Um, and I was catching a lot of different things since it was the first time we had played. And I didn't want to be the only one to donate anything to the museum. So I left some things behind for Dan to donate so that oh, when he you. catches... Because I'm sure he'll catch them anyways, but that way we had we made sure that something was set aside to catch. But anyways, when I caught that snow crab, I'm like, but this one I'm donating because that was a lot of work. <laughs> yes, some of the some of the creatures go by really quickly, and it's just it's you know it's it's a pain for some. I like of them. that your little person is like like breathing when they come up. I just think it's so cute. The it's anime. a nice little f animated feature. Yes. So when, no, that's big. One of my other favorite things is that you can do your reactions in the water too. We did we didn't know this at first, but we discovered yeah. it right afterwards. So, oh wait, that's not it. No, that's not it either. What, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. Come back up. There we go. So we could, you know, do that. We could clap in the water and splash a little bit. That's pretty cute. <laughs> All the emotions work in the water. It's almost the same animation as it is above, but obviously with a little bit of water splashing effects, it makes it look really cute whenever you're like playing with someone else and you just want to like take like a fun photo of everyone splashing together or something. So obviously, if you haven't figured it out now, Y to dive and A to move. You can hold A or you can tap A to go even faster. Oh, of course, you got another one. Yay. Look, rolled in rolled the background. <laughs> he is having a blast. So I find swimming like majorly relaxing. I like it a lot. Although it is frustrating when you're waiting for Pascal, so you're trying to find a scallop, and you can't find a scallop because they're supposed to be super common. But when I first played, it literally oh, took me like muscle. 20 minutes uh, and like 40 things. I had to actually go empty my pockets before I had found a. Scallop. So it's probably more than 20 minutes, but still. No cheese. Pascal is not as easy to find as some people think he is. Yes, and the pearls are what you're really after. <sighs> so we got an oyster now. So peaceful and relaxing. Mm -hmm. Unlike the real world right now, where it's uh, thunderstorming outside, so I apologize mm -hmm. if you hear some rain in the background of this audio. No, not a pearl. <laughs> These little guys will make you think they're a pearl. An acorn barnacle? Barnacles. So the pearls you want to hold on to because they're what you can use to make the DIYs. So we have decided that um, we are going to try and collect all of the mermaid items just as one person. So that, Kaylee on Quackington is going to collect them all until we have duplicates. Yes, it just makes it easier that way we know who has what because yeah. naturally we have four or more different profiles. We have eight. Yeah, we have eight. eight. So it's kind of difficult to figure out, all right, this person has this and this person has that and this person has that one. So we're just gonna give all the mermaid DIYs to one person that way it's all in one place. So we're gonna get out because I saw a balloon. Where did it go? There's okay. also a uh, message in the bottle right yeah, over there. Yeah, well the balloon is more important because we need to get those uh, DIYs. Oh yeah, for the fall. Because we're actually probably gonna have to start the month of May over just to get some of that stuff. Yeah. Let's see. Ooh! Oh, except for... I already have that one of course, so you can learn this one. Yay! Yeah, so that is one of them. But right now we're trying to, again, keep Kaylee Bria have all of the mushroom um, DIYs on this island so that we can um, try and keep them all in one place. But we already have that one. 
This is something. Door plate. Oh, you have that. So I'll, I don't This is something one. we really wish we have known for a while because on our other on our other island, um, our profiles naturally we all share everything. But at the same time, you know, one day I'll be walking around like, oh, I really want to make this DIY. But then I'm like, oh, shoot, now I gotta switch over to my yeah. wife's profile to make this, and this just makes it easier to know who has what. We I mean, do we do have um, two extra profiles on each account or on each island. So on this one we have Ducky and Fuzzy, and on the other island we have Quack and Meow. Um, and they each have. Um, we're trying to not have them take any DIYs until um, both or all four, I guess, accounts have already had those items. Yes, and we'll we'll be showing you all what all those accounts will be used for. Ah, scout. All Pascal? these. Oh, there, Pascal, he is. there he is. Yes, the otter of the owl or hour. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so each of the four um, other accounts have uh, a specific theme for their house, so that we can have like shops and things. We have not a hundred percent decided what the inside of one of the most recent one we made was going to be, but we have um, we have a flower shop and a bakery. And a wedding chapel. We will be showing you all those soon enough. So hopefully he gives us a DIY. Okay. Did he say? That's how we all... Uh, the deep kind. Feel this. Feel, th feel this. If she's selling seashells by the seashore, is that like some dude selling sticks in a forest? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he just dropped some truth on us. Consider yourself truthed. And so, and then he's going to swim away. And you want to go ahead and follow him? Yeah, you we're going to You could actually follow Pascal for a good while and see what he does. Now, obviously, you go? at this point, there oh, there he is, see? So, yeah, so you can't really, like, talk with him and all that and do stuff with him, but you can see he does, like, he does, like, this cute little, uh, what's it called, backstroke? Uh, I haven't done swimming in a while. <laughs> but he does this cute little, like, animation right here. He's just swimming around, and then he plays around with the scallop and all oh, that. Oh, there it's he's really... going to eat it. Oh, yep, and he eats it, yep. <laughs> yes, we are proud of you, Pascal. Look at you go. All right, let's see what we Nature us. at its full A potential. mermaid table. We don't have that one yet. Unfortunately, um, I do not have enough pearls to make all the things. Is this a pearl? No, of course not. But you will need pearls for, what, yeah. almost everything? Yes, everything requires pearls. And then they, um, then some of them require, like, iron and different shells from your beach. Um, as far as I know, and... I'm, so I'm not 100% sure on this, but I don't think that any of the DIYs um, require anything else from the ocean. It's all, only just the pearls. Because the other things are, they're not tools. They're, ooh, sea cucumber. A sea cucumber. Oh, there's the thunder. <laughs> actually, on our other island, it's actually storming. Like, really yes. bad. <laughs> so that actually is more in tune to what it is right now. We still haven't seen any of those crabs that like move around fast enough. I really want to. There's a seaweed. Find them. Stupid. <laughs> We're finding all the things that we are not interested in. So we don't have red right now, and we don't have, and nobody was in the square. So it wasn't kicks or label or leaf. So that means we either have Gulliver, Gulliver, Sahara, uh, Flick, what, or CJ. What, what day right? is today? It's a Monday. It's a Monday. Okay, I was gonna say it's not. Uh, Sunday. Yeah, and it's, it's not, not Saturday. So no KK. So one of those creatures, I wish that there was a little, like, I don't know, a sign in the plaza or something that said. This is who's coming today. <laughs> yeah. Or that's, or even if Isabel said, this is who we have visiting, that would be nice. Cause I hate that it's like, it's no news unless there's a birthday or a campsite villager. Yeah. Or somebody's leaving. In uh, the original Animal Crossing, if you went up to the police station, one of the police dogs, if you ask him what's going on, he will tell you that someone's visiting your island or your town today, and he'll tell you where they are. Really nice to know. <laughs> Just want to show you in here. So since this is your first time, you're going to get this one until you get a certain number. Midsummer Swimmer. And Underwater Understudy. Oh, we got both of them there. Yeah. And naturally, with every Animal Crossing update, there's going to be some more Nook Mile uh, potential. So in this case, Oops, there you got was another one. There's oh, there's the balloon one up above. Oh, that. well, that's not the one I was talking about. There's this. You otter new. <laughs> that's nice because you have like zero nook miles and you don't have all of the um, terraforming stuff. 
No, not yet. Not in this account. My other account, I have all the terraforming things, but in this one. So, um, if you can see in our little map there on the corner, um, we have an open spot. So we actually kicked out, um, with using an amiibo, we kicked out one of our villagers. So, so we weren't necessarily like wanting to kick that villager out, but they weren't one that we were like intent on keeping. Um, so we actually replaced Piper with, um, the same personality type. Yes. And we will so. reveal who that other person or animal is in another video. Or do we want to reveal that now? Uh, in another video. Another video. Get people or later. interested. Yeah. So I don't know if you saw our map also. We have this little corner of the island that is currently yeah. being worked on. Uh, I don't know, since we're heading over there, I don't know if we want to show them that too, since that is on the way. It's interesting that you can see this map, because if you try and... Um, so it's cool that you can use your phone, right? But you cannot use your phone... It's waterproof. Or you can't use the the map, but you can use the map if it's there. So that's something you might want to think about if you um, plan on doing a lot of swimming and you want to know exactly where you are. Yeah. Turn the little mini map on, which when you're on the land that, um, and you open the map app, you can just press X and it gives you the options to turn it on only when you're not moving or whatever. I always like keeping my map, at, map on, whether or not I'm on land or sea. This is because it helps me figure out, because I like to do a lot of terraforming things, so it helps me visualize... Yeah. Ooh, crab. Ooh, look at that. I personally hate having the map on because it blocks the space. Yeah. I wish there was a way, like a quick shortcut while you were here that you could just be like, okay, put it on, put it off. But yeah, but you can look at, so you can't do anything with your pockets. Oh, Ooh, this, this one's moving. This, this was a moving. Not too much. Um, oh, it's another scallop. It's another scallop. Apparently Pascal won't come back, but sometimes he'll trade you for pearls. It's unclear if he will always trade you for pearls. Um, but yeah. I wanted to go ahead and show... You're not going to go get that thing? I'll get that thing later. But since we're here, this is our secret beach. It's in its own little private spot. But it's a, it's a ship in a bottle. A ship in a bottle, yes. But I wanted to show what we're doing right now. This is kind of like a really... Oh, I didn't even see it all. That looks good. Early work in progress area. Uh, we wanted this, so this is gonna be the little. Should we show them the shops too? No, it's not. It's no, not set not, up. Not set up yet. But this is gonna be like a little flower shop, um, and this is gonna be a little bakery. I'm not sure what color I want to make the roof on the next expansion. Is that teal Ooh, that's green, or that's... aqua? That's aqua. Yeah. So and it does look different than, than the blue, but I'm not sure. I, in further updates, I think there's a white. Yeah, roof. I think we gotta, but gotta I, work on that. And I like the white because like flower, you know. But yeah. that's like much later. So yeah, we shall see. We shall see. It's kind of hard because I feel like I'm essentially paying for eight houses to upgrade them because Dan doesn't pay attention to any of that and doesn't care about upgrading his houses. I do I do care, but, but I also like to tear for more. So I, I focus more on the world around me than I do. And with he my also own wants all of these bridges and inclines, which I also have to fund. So I feel like I'm f funding all of the things <laughs> and it's kind of rather frustrating. Um, because I want some of the houses to go admit all the way it. up. Admit it, you like my, my construction no. work though. So oh, come on. <laughs> on Quackington, I actually was only like 200 bells away, or 200,000 bells away from paying off um, my house on Quackington. And then I had to pay for a bridge, and I had to pay for um, the, house, the two houses on this island, and all of this stuff. But with um, swimming, because it is somewhat time consuming, but I really enjoy it. And again, they're all worth more than his sea bass. So it's kind of more profitable than fishing for the most part, I think. Plus you don't have That's any of true. the other distractions of other things on your island while you're in the water. Um, so I have earned up a little bit more. So hopefully I can pay off um, this installment of my uh, house payment on Quackington soon. Yes, yes. Because I want the basement. Oh yes, the basement you could do. There's so much space in the basement. You could really build a lot and we've seen a lot of videos of people like a hogwarts house or a disney house and you can like build a lot with having that much space oh, come on oh this was moving a little quick no not really it's a scallop it's a scallop Ooh. so let's swim a little closer to the shore and see if we can see if we could find gulliver or anything gulliver yard matey 
because we haven't really had any luck finding him yet. And it's, well, I'm, we're not even sure if that's who's on the island today. Again, it would be nice if true. there was some way to know. There's a bubble right here. Oh, oh there's See, one. See, you miss it because of the... I almost missed it. ...of the map. Um, the pearls... Oh! Ooh. Ooh, that is a... Uh, an abalone! An abalone. I was thinking that one, uh, that's 2,000, but we haven't caught one yet, so it needs to yeah. go to the museum. So do you want to go ahead and tell our audience what the most expensive thing is to sell? Sure. It is a something giant clam. <laughs> Gigas? Gigas giant clam. A giga! And that's 15,000 bells. Ooh, 15,000. What's the second most expensive thing? A giant isopod or a spider crab are both 12,000 bells. That's not bad. And you have a vampire squid and a sea pig at 10,000. And I don't... I've seen what a vampire squid looks like, but I don't know what a sea pig looks like, and I really want to know what it looks see, like. Yeah, I want to see what a sea pig looks like. Oh! Please be a pearl! Please be a pearl! It is nope. A, uh... It's too big to be a pearl, and it's moving. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's another one of those sweet shrimp. Yeah. But again, like, this is much more lucrative than um, fishing. Overall. Yeah. Oh, look, there's Baby Rolled just chilling, watching us in the oh, distance. Oh, it's Sahara. Oh, Sahara. Ah. So I guess we're not going to have Bella I really today. wish that there was a way to know what her rugs were before you bought them. Because, are, does she say that they're mystery rugs? I think they're just rugs. Yeah. They're nothing really, I don't know. Some some are really cool and some are not really cool. Roll, Hi, Rolled. Roll, He's roll. like, look, look at me. What are you up to? B -b Buddy. You know what? Let me give it, let, can I give him some of the sea creatures? Let's see. Oh, I can. Uh, I'm going to give him a sea star. Yes, that's good. Because he is a star. Yes, I am. I'll give you a sea star. It's neat. I'll take good care of it. B -b -b Buddy. Oh, you should have given him a muscle. Oh. <laughs> a mountain parka. Okay, see if you can find there. Dina and um, give her... Mm, Let's see. Some. Dina, Dina, Dina. I think she's, yeah, she's home. But if she's doing oh. her DIY. Did you see what Poppy was wearing? Oh, I missed it. What was Poppy wearing? A Gryffindor robe. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, oh, she's, she's DIYing. But let's just see what she's making today. Why not? And her sunglasses. What are you making? A peach hat. Ooh, a peach hat. Yeah, sure. Um, so it's kind of funny. So uh, one of my friends suggested if you go to the Able Sisters and put um, designs on that back shelf. So you can only put designs that you make or if somebody visits you and puts them on that back shelf there, or the back wall, um, that they can, uh... Poppy, then the, there you are. Then your villagers can go and, like, kind of shop and pick them out. Look, she's just in Gryffindor. She's a Gryffindor. <laughs> so that's um, just something I, like, threw together. I looked at some designs and tried to, like, make them similar. Hmm, give her a... Sea star. <laughs> sure. You could have given Dina a star still. Even though she was Even though she's DIY. Oh. Yeah, you just talk to her again. Yeah, it's okay. Please I'm take my diner apron. apron. Let's she, go look at how cute she is. She is really cute. Let's go, go, go ahead. Gryffindor. Let's go ahead and go to the museum and see if there's anything I can give to Blathers. Um, well, oh. you can pick up all that stuff and donate it. <laughs> I didn't even realize. I was going to clean oh. this up. My pockets are full. Okay, let's go ahead and give him some stuff first. And then we'll take a look at where they go in the museum. And I really wish um, Gullivar was here. That would have been perfect to showcase Maybe everything he'll... for July. But we'll find I him another if... time. He only will show up after July 3rd since we're not in July 3rd and the other thing is an update. But I don't yeah. know. Oh, right. This is still a stamp rally. I forgot. Ugh. Yeah, we're in May in this uh, Southern Hemisphere island. So because <laughs> starting in June, it starts to change to winter. And we wanted the fall DIYs and all the fall stuff. Oh, I forgot. Okay, so that whole thing right there, he was explaining about the sea creatures thing. <laughs> and there was obviously oh. like 10 paragraphs full. All right, so now let's make a donation. Marvelous. What are you giving me? Uh, ooh. I could give him. Okay, so that. maybe I can donate some of the stuff that's outside since you did find a lot of different things. I did Although find some a lot of these things. things that are in your pocket are stuff that's outside and too, so. Crab. I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything. Okay, let me give him all that. I'm pretty sure there's a scallop outside and a crab. Is there anything else? No, that's it. I'm going to go look at our collection. So let's go ahead and look and see where everything belongs. Because there are some uh, sea creatures that go in some really cool places in this part of the museum. 
Uh, I think there's see. less things available to find on this island. Yeah. Are on the southern hemisphere. Yeah, especially this time of year. Oh, there's nothing in there. Yeah, there's that is pretty odd, <laughs> considering that our other island is all full of fish everywhere. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Oh my, that like glitched. Yeah, that did. Okay, let's. See. Where is the? Oh, is oh, that under refurbishment, or something? What where is, is that? Is the it? crab right there? No, 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 no. Well, yeah, but. Look at that. No, this. Go click on that. Oh yeah, that wasn't there. That used to be a submarine and stuff. Click on something so that it's. I'm trying. Will it tell you? It's not letting me click on anything. Where did it go? I wonder. I wonder where it went. Was that just supposed to be like a, a sneak? A sneak preview of uh, coming attractions. Let's see if we could find uh, some of our. Well, we saw the crab. Things. Yeah, we saw the crab. But I was really thinking about. I don't know which crab that was. Certain. Though. You didn't go I should have looked at it. There's some in here. Oh yeah, there we go. There's some in here. Oh wait. Where's the sign for this one? There we go. Okay, there's a scallop that I just donated. There's a sea urchin from Kaylee the other day. There's a whelk, a sweet shrimp. There's a, some of those. And, oh, oh there's, the, there's the that. There's the octopus. There's the octopus. There's the crab. Look at that crab. That's the gazami crab. Yes. So I think that one in the other tank was the, um, the snow, snow crab. crab. Oh yeah. my gosh. Oh, there's that abalone. Is that what that is? Is that that sea slug too? I think that's sea slug. But there's, oh, there's a starfish. The barnacle. There's the barnacle, yeah. And the the turban shell. Yeah. So Click on it. Seahorse. Sea oh. oh. Seaweed. Sea Acorn, Acorn barnacle. barnacle. Sea star. Turban shell. And abalone. Abalone. Is it abalone or abalone? It's abalone. Okay, go, go <laughs> this way for a second. Go with it. <laughs> look at that crab. Look at him vibing. Red snapper. It's probably not going to be this list. Okay, but no, just look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. And there's the sea pineapple. Sea pineapple. Ah, yes, the gazami crab. And there's the octopus. Octopus. Oyster. There cool. we go. So yeah, those are all the fun things. We didn't get them all, but my favorite one is I've seen in other videos and photos is that this spot right here is where the jellyfish goes when you catch a jellyfish. Which is really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. You could just like walk on it and everything. So. There's a lot of fun new sea creatures that could be put in. I love the ray. <laughs> the, the ray is hilarious. But yeah. Oh, look so, into the shadow. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at it go. So yeah, those are some of the things that come with the July update. Some of the cool stuff. Uh, like I said, Gullivar is one of those updates too. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see him in this video, but we may see him in another video. So yeah, that's basically it. Any last thoughts, Kaylee? Um, I don't think so. Just uh, um, make sure you find pearls. Yes, They're yes. They're the smallest um, shadow, and I don't think that they move, or at least they don't move fast. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.